Hello everyone and welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and this is part two of uh, how to make the uh, delicious donut. And this is the one that I made in part one. Um, I did explain in another video, but you may not see it. Um, I did do part two and it was a particularly busy day with lots of interruptions and uh, the phone rang. So I paused the video halfway through to answer the phone and when I came back I did press the button to uh, start the recording again but it didn't work. So I sewed it all together and stuffed it and everything um, but it didn't actually record. So I had to go ahead and make another one so that we can sew that up together. So um, for this particular donut, because I've run out of the odd scraps that I used before, I had to use, uh, this is a sheepies yarn. Um, I've heard a lot of people say it in different ways, but I just say sheepies. Um, this colour uh, would be ideal if you were going to do a pink donut. I found, um, I was going to have a little go and see if I could do another one. But this one with the brown is perfect for chocolate. This is a signet yarn because I couldn't find any really dark browns that would actually see them even that is not as dark as the previous one it's dark enough for chocolate but it's not as dark as it was now i've already gone ahead and threaded two needles because it's no fun watching me struggle with threading a needle and one is in the color which is the base part of the donut and this one we left a long thread so i've i've done both of those so um, I've also got another little ring close at hand and a pair of scissors. I'd rather see two darning needles. So the first thing that I'm going to do is sew this down. Now when I did mine, I didn't do that. I just did it as I go. But I think for the purposes of this tutorial, it was going to be easier if I just secure this little strap um, beforehand. And it's not wide so it's not going to take very much and it's just a few little whip stitches and then that little strap thing is secure and we can carry on with the rest of the sewing up so that should have it now you've got this little strap ready to put through the ring so with the right side of our donut facing and that one has kind of gone inside out a little bit that doesn't matter about these tails so much because they're going to live inside the donut and they'll never come out. So we put these two sides together like this and we will just whip stitch them together. Now you can either go through the whole of the stitch. If you look closely you can see the V. You can either go through the whole thing like that or you can go through the edge two edges that are facing it's totally your preference um, and whichever one you feel is the most secure but I usually just go through the outer edges because it gives you a nice little um, ridge around the donut then and it's secure enough now the one thing I will say is when you do the middle of the donut this part here when we come to sew that you need to be really really tight on your stitching um, when I made my first one I did just one whip stitch all the way around and I found it was just coming open a little bit because of these chains so I did two in each and that was enough to secure it so we're not going to go all the way around and we're going to keep our stitches nice and tight hoping on in the camera because we don't want any of the stuff in to be poking through at all and you know if you wanted to make it more secure then by all means go through both of the stitches at the top of the ends of the um of the crochet so like you'd be going through two and two rather than just the one and the one but if you want to put a little extra one here and there then that's fine as long as it's really secure So we just do that until we get a little way around. This is the, how I found the uh, the best way 
to sew it up um, was a little bit at a time and then put some stuff in inside uh, if I did it any if I did it all it was very difficult to poke it round so well not difficult but it's easier if you do just a little bit at a time so when I'd sewed on my sprinkles this time I didn't have those bright colours that I had before so I just chose these as like a pink and I got these out of um, some of the magazines that you buy you know when you've got something on there that you can make a toy in I always have really good intentions of making the toy that's on the magazine or some of the projects that are on the magazine and then I never do so consequently I've stopped buying those magazines because they are expensive and I um, I never do make the projects so it's just a waste of money really so I figured that I'll just use these little balls of yarn um, for, for little projects like this and that's perfect then so I'm going to call it a day for a moment and I, I would put that in there to keep it secure but it does tend to get hooked up with this one when you get going so you just want to secure forget that long tail it doesn't matter or that one there and you just want to secure this to it and it doesn't you don't have to do it in a fancy way you can just tighten a knot simply because all of those ends and everything else are going to be inside the donut and will never be seen so it doesn't have to be too pretty just as long as it's secured with a double knot like that and then we can if anything will get confusing seeing all these little bits of ends so just keep them in there get the edges where you need them and make sure that this is through your ring and now we get the edges together get rid of that end and make sure it's at the right it is a bit confusing with all these ends maybe I'll snip a few and that's it I don't know if you can hear my grandson he's having a bit of a bit of a moan up there I've got the uh, microphone working today so hopefully you'll find it's making a difference although it's on the other side of the phone the way it has to fit in my tripod right so I don't really it doesn't matter what colour you use as long as you're using one of the colours that is in this donut like the the base or the the chocolate or the the underside colour as long as you're using one of them then you won't see the stitching and as I said before make sure that you put a lot of stitches in this part because as you can see there's that pulls open so I would even go further down and grab some of the uh, actual work just to make sure that it's going to be secure because you don't want stuff in saying hello to you so then we just carry on going around making sure it's tight keeping your work tight all the time it is a bit difficult to get your fingers in and just more in the camera yet yeah. Just whip stitch around. Some of these chains do feel a little loose. I'm not happy about that. Hopefully it won't cause too much of a problem when I go to poke the stuffing in. So if you look, although you've only sewn a little bit here, you're actually almost level with the um, the bit that you've already sewn or I've already sewn so let me catch that as well because I didn't think that this sheepy's wall is quite soft so although I didn't make a very loose chain it's very soft so it pulls pulls open just a little bit but I'd run out of that pretty sturdy wall that I was using so I'm going to leave that there as well for now and I'm going to get some of this stuff in. I don't know if I've got enough here. I might have to go and get another bit, but this will, I think it'll be okay just to show you. I'm going to try to keep these separate so they don't get tangled.
tangled or messy. And so we just poke this in now and try and remember to get right up and round that edge. You don't have to go too far because it's only secured to there. And just you can poke it in and stuff it as fat as you want or not. So that's that bit done and then you just continue. So we do this edge first. And go all the way around doing the same thing. I've never been the best sewer in the world, but I don't think you have to be for this. It's just a little bit of whip stitch goes a long way. I was actually really, really cheesed off yesterday because not only did um, my donut tutorial mess up because um, it didn't record. I was I tried to make a tutorial uh, for a, a blanket a crochet along that I'm going to do, and that I just kept getting people coming in or knocking at the door, and, and you know, with the other one, the phone rang, and in the end, I just abandoned everything and thought, bad day, turn it all off and go do something else and start again tomorrow. You know, just sometimes you just get bad communication days, don't you, where everything goes wrong, technology goes wrong, and just nothing works for you. And that was me yesterday. I had one of those days. So just carry on going round, and then you can feel my stuffing is moving. And then you just leave that for a moment. It doesn't matter if you go all the way around with the bottom bit. It is easier to poke that in if it's a come down a little bit and it's in the way. There we go. Poking back. That one over there. I found it easier to do mine at the same time. Um, but you may not. So, um, yeah, you just now carry on with this centre. And um, making very, very sure that you've got everything. So I'm going to pause the video and go further around because it's going to, otherwise you're going to watch me sew the whole thing and it's quite boring. So I'm pausing the video and I'll, when I get a bit nearer, I'll uh, start up again. Okay, so I've gone all the way around the middle part. So I'm just going to open it up there. I've put this on the inside and I'm just going to secure this um, on the inside so, and I normally just do keep my thumb in it and do a loop and then when it gets near the edge I go back through it so it knots down and then I can just sew this end in it doesn't have to be brilliant as long as it's secure-ish. Remember it's all staying on the inside so nobody's going to really see that end so we can leave it a little longer than we would normally. Oops, get me my scissors. Remove that one which will make life a lot easier. Put that back the right way. Those ends all in and just carry on sewing. I didn't get very far with the outer edge. Just carry on sewing this edge all the way around. I think the hardest bit is definitely doing the middle because you've just got not very much room for your fingers to, to get in there. But once you've got a little way around, you just do the same thing with the stuff in as before and um, pop some in. And I think I've got a little bit there, so I'll put this little bit over here in. You can see it's taken shape. You just keep going. So once again, I'll pause that video and I'll meet you when I'm more or less round. Okay, so I've got near enough all the way around. So I just get the rest of my stuff in and start poking it in. In there. 
making sure it pushes around so it's all nice and even and then just got to sew that I think it's a bit too much that side but we're gonna push it along a little bit a little bit back and now we just got to sew up the uh, pull it along a little bit and pull that one along that way a little bit so it meets nicely poke that back in and then just continue sewing it all up and there we go make sure it's nice and tight and just enough stuff in there I guess I could have done with a tiny bit more but you can always push it around man manipulate it once it's in there to uh, get it to be completely even so now we're at the bit where the tie is doesn't forget that part a little bit chunky bit to sew into there Fine. Sorry if I'm moving about. Carry it along with the uh, end in sight. Let's get a bit near the end. So that should be completely sewn up now. And so what we do now is where this tie is. We can just do the same thing, end off our yarn, make a little loop, pop it back through, and I'll make it nice and secure. And then I can just sew this end in along this row here with stitches. With the previous donut that I made, this strap I did uh, three stitches wide and this one's four I think I prefer it with three my original one was four I thought it was a little bit more secure but looking at it I prefer it that way so with this end what I normally do is I just go into the donut just go into it pull it out and then if you get your scissors and there's a little trick with every end that you'll ever make if you pull it slightly and then cut it, it will disappear inside. So there we have the donut. I just need to push the stuff in round evenly. But there he is, and get the little ring and pop it in. Whoops, trying to do that. There we are. There's the ring. So there's the one I made first. Well, that's the one I made second actually. But you can just tease that stuff in around so it's nice and even a little bit missing at the top there push it along and there you are one delicious or two delicious donuts this darker yarn is a little bit better i think a little bit more effective but they're both chocolate so both is equally tasty so thanks very much for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos coming along um so thank you very much for watching. If you could like and share this video and uh, I shall see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.